Hello Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Welcome into this reading. This is all about your next great love that you're going to have in your, your life. So let's see, let's go in here and let's see what will come through for you guys. The readings have been really interesting. So I'm so curious to see what will come through for you. Let's clear the space of any of the previous readings that I've done here and energies that have been around on the table. And I call please in your spirit guides to come in and guide this reading for us, show us what we need to see. And um, then I send out the vibrations of high positivity out to you guys out there. So let's go. Let's get a sacred travel, uh, sacred travel. I can barely speak in your reading. Can you see that? Sacred traveler oracle card out so that we can get an overall general understanding of what the lesson is or what the energy will be with regards to this love no they no sort guy just said no keep going that's not the card that's the card there we go and look at that capricorn you got two doesn't mean you're special i'm just saying no you're special i'm playing let's have a look and see a wandering path enjoy the journey okay there's a message here for you okay and there's going to be a message here with regards to the love in itself. I feel like this is your your energy. Oh man, guys, you're reaching your destination. How interesting that these two cards are literally the same kind of energy. Let's see if I can get them both to stand up. There we go. How nice you got two cards. You, this is you <laughs> this is about you um the wandering path enjoy the journey it's where you currently are you have not yet met this person and they are asking you while you're on the road of life while you are traveling along your road enjoy every moment it's almost like they're trying to ask you to be in the moment um be mindful kind of like don't worry too much about the future let it go enjoy where you are if you're single enjoy that singleness um make your space it's, it's very interesting they're saying this in a very interesting way it's like they're going make your your space a space of beauty make the moments that you spend in that space beautiful and then what you will receive is beauty Ah, oh, this is nice, guys. And by the way, before I continue, if you do want to have a personal reading with me, they are marked down until the end of June. That's why I got to keep on saying it because they marked down until the end of June. So if you want to check it out, link in the description box below. Goodness gracious. Okay, so now with this journey, it does tell me that you may be wondering where that X is. Where, where, when am I going to meet that person? And they're kind of asking you right now to kind of pull back on that energy and allow yourself to be in the moment. Allow yourself to be in a mindful space. Where where you just where you are and don't worry too much about the final destination i hope it's not the final destination like the movie no i'm kidding um reaching the destination because you're wondering and it's so interesting that yeah somebody's got this like map drawn up they've got a compass there and everything trying to find out where's that bubble and they're looking and they're going, where is it? Where is it this way? Am I going the right way? Is this the right map? Is, am I in the right place? I would not be able to read this map to save myself. Thank God for GPRS. And this energy, <clears throat> that's where you're going. And along this path, why are they asking you to stay in the moment? Why are they asking you to stay in the present? To be mindful, to create a space of beauty around you. And in that space, live a beautiful life you know it, even if it means sitting in the sun in the morning sipping a cup of tea create those moments i do that in my in my space you know i try to create every moment of my day into something beautiful so when i wake up in the morning i have a cup of coffee like i say I, I have coffee i sit in the sun and i feel the warmth of the sun then when i come to the computer i start editing i'll burn incense and a candle i ring a bell around where i'm working you know just those moments of beauty create something inside of you it transforms you as a human being and it turns you into something else with a butterfly going there along the journey as you're transforming yourself and your world into this butterfly that is when that butterfly can enter the destination because your light needs to shine brightly to get to a place of high vibration you need to be vibrating in that energy Okay, so that's why they're talking a lot about what you do on a daily basis with the wandering path. Enjoying the journey gets you to your destination. Okay, the journey's energy needs to be what lies in there already. Even if it's not you, even if you're alone, you, you want to be with somebody here, you need to be in the energy space. The joy that you would feel to be in love, you need to have it already before you can actually get there. 
Okay, otherwise you just keep wandering around aimlessly. So let's see, let's get, wow, love the message, hey. Let's get, um, let's get two cards out here that indicate the person's energy and two cards out. I saw them already that indicate your energy. Let's have a look and see who this person is and what is going on here. We've got two cards, so the setup of your cards is a little bit different. Let's have a look. Seven of Cups energy. Wow, and Hierophant coming through, uh, uh, Temperance energy coming through here as well with the Balance energy. I've got Hierophant on my brain. I just had a Hierophant drawn out for a couple of my, my readings. But there's your Temperance, Sagittarius's energy. This person is still like you. They are also making choices and decisions about their, their life. It does say daydreams and decisions, as you can see. This is the Seven of Cups energy. So I feel like they still... Um, I don't feel like they're wondering like you are trying to get to a relationship, but I feel like they, they're working out still in their mind um, what it is they want to have in life. So I feel like this is a person that's also on the journey like you are. Um, with the balance coming up here as well, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for a very in themselves, I feel like it's in themselves as well, because temperance talks about caution moving forward, so they've been very careful uh, moving forward in their life. Uh, I almost feel like as they're moving forward, that's why every step they take is a daydream and decision energy. This is a very interesting energy of a person. They don't just, they never do anything on impulse. So this is not somebody, I feel like when you meet them, it's going to be like this world dream romance. I feel like when they meet you, they're going to look at you and go, okay, Capricorn, hello, you know what I mean? And they might go, okay, I actually like this person. But it's not a person that's going to jump head first into a relationship with you. They're going to first get to know you, and then they're going to think about it and see, are we compatible? Okay good and they're going to tick that box off that's the energy that they have and then they're going to go okay so maybe we should take this a bit further let me see how they're going to react if I kind of like ask them out or tell them I like them kind of vibe and then they're going to judge your reaction to it and then they're going to start spending some more time with you and then they're going to think about that as well and then they're going to make a decision about that and they're going to move forward again so this is a very a cautious person's energy, very mature, very grown up, very thought based human being. Okay, very interesting. I just gotta say, your energy, your sick, oh, yes, yeah, seven of swords energy. You want the stability. Okay, you want the stability. And I feel like you're going to find this person. It's a very interesting reading. The seven of swords has come up here, which is the seek the truth energy. You kind of got nearly the same vibe of wanting to know the truth because if you, as you can see when I zoom in here you're going to see there's two like heads here and it's like this lady is pulling open the truth between two people and I'm finding this very interesting because on the other side here there's two heads on this side in the temperance energy as well and there it is again and um, you may pursue them a bit more than they're pursuing you okay it can even be you meeting them and you kind of like go whoa, I like this, I like this person. And you kind of like let them know, I like you, I want to pursue with you. Just know, now you know how they are. So every time you come towards them and you kind of like say, I, I really like, you look really good, you know, they're going to be analytic about everything. So they're going to look at you and go, this person thinks I look good. Okay, okay. And they're going to think about this and they're going to analyze it and then they're going to come and have their decision about it and then the next thing is like don't you want to like go somewhere with me you don't want to have coffee or something and they're going to be like think about it and that's their kind of way of moving forward but I don't actually not like that I actually really like that considering with the three of pentacles yeah you're looking for a person that's very grounded a person that's very stable this is it no wonder it's a great love and that's why you're going to reach this destination. I kind of like feel like the seeking of the truth energy, it's you not also wanting to make any past mistakes as well. I don't feel like they do either. You guys are really kind of mirroring each other quite a lot here. You've got two sevens coming out in their energy and your energy. Um, re caution, yeah, caution, yeah. So I kind of feel like you guys are going to keep going forward with each other and getting to know each other as you move forward with each other, which is nice. I've, and the reality about who they are, this is something you're going to find out as you go on. Because you, I feel like this is a card of marriage. This is you going, I want stability. I want stability. And I don't want people just 
playing. I want somebody who is going to be able to have my back and I got their back. I want somebody who's serious, who says like, you know, let's get married. Let's go sign on that paper. We're not just playing here anymore. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're ready for that. So that's nice. Let's have a look and see. Oh, they all make a decision about you very quickly. Oh, yes. Fated meeting, guys. It's a fated meeting. There's your energy. I feel like this is kind of got attached to you, even though you're in the earth sign. There's the earth energy. Yeah? But I feel like you... It's because of the Seven of Swords coming on top here. Um, this King of Swords energy in the reverse position, you not you don't want anything else but this, which is the stability that I was just talking about. And if somebody comes into your world that is not offering you, offering you a real stable, let's get real, I'm not playing, I'm not a whatever, you know, I'm not a player, I'm not playing around with people's feelings, I'm a real human being who wants stability that is what you're waiting for and with the wheel of fortune being here this person is definitely coming but you ready to face anyone along the way and cut them out with the king of swords being in the reverse position you would just be like oh you doing what slash you know i don't feel like you will even get hurt by anybody very quickly that is why you need to find out about people that is why you're doing it already. That's why every person you meet, you kind of like the same. You got a lot of vibes of the same kind of energy. Um, you also won't want to move forward with somebody. When you see something you don't like, you'll cut them out as well. Um, but this person here, yeah, because I feel like this is attached to their energy, they're definitely going to make a decision about you with the two of pentacles being there. And I feel like uh, they're the same, by the way. If something is not going good it's something they feel like is going to be too stressful for them or it's not going to work out they also let it go but both of you got a wheel of fortune there you're mirroring each other very much and isn't it interesting that you got these two heads kind of like mirroring each other here and then you got the two heads mirroring each other there so it's very interesting reading this with the wheel of fortune this is the person this is the person this is the one uh you knew before you came here uh you this is the one i feel like even if you did have past lives with each other there is a connection here to past lives with the wheel of fortune this could be a past life love coming in here who you know this person and um you discussed this uh before you were even born with them on a soul level like when i'm 35 i'm meeting you Okay, and we're going to be, have learned a lot of lessons already, and we're still going to learn a lot more moving forward. So I want to see, wow, this is nice. Oof. I want to see what your spirit guides will advise you guys as you move forward here. Let's see what spirit will got to say. Let's have a look and see. Oopsie, we have got a Ten of Wands energy. This is nice. You are ending cycles, guys. You are ending cycles here. You're about to step into something new. Um, they are acknowledging in a very interesting way. The card that keeps coming out in the middle, middle here for all the readings, it's an interesting energy. It's not something like the Ace of Cups or the Two of Cups or the Lover's card. No, it's these weird cards that keep coming out in the center. And I keep feeling like it's Spirit Guide showing us things that sometimes we don't want to look at, almost like the shadow side of life. And they're showing this Ten of Wands and they're literally talking about your history they're talking about all the things you've experienced they're talking about the stress that you've had the tears that you've cried the worries about the future with things that happened in relationships before and they literally going that's the ten of wands that is the ending of cycles and you have got a new cycle coming in the ten of wands can even be this energy of the wandering path and you just carrying this weight on your shoulders all by yourself as you move through the world and this is like this is now this is passing. This is gone. And then you reach your destination. You see what I'm saying? i got to do something. I want to see what's laying underneath the, underneath this deck here. i got to look and see for you guys. Can you believe this? <laughs> got the death card rocking up here. I cannot believe this. And an ace of pentacles. <laughs> I just had to look for you guys. Yeah, you, got to, you see that this is the past. Here's your ace of pentacles. Where you've been alone and stressed. This is the new beginning that's going to show itself to you. Um, this is a new start. And there is your Ace of Pentacles. There we go. There's your Ace of Pentacles energy. There's your ending. There's a new beginning. And there's a stability that wants to come in. The Ace of Pentacles is what lies in this energy. Or the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is associated with what lies in that beautiful bubble there. It's the future that you want to have that is stable. There we go, guys. I'm sending my love and light out to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.